Loomis Rescue Ranch is located in Douglas County, Colorado. It's a 146 acre property with roughly 30 horses on it at any given time. On Saturdays we are running a pilot program researching the effects of equine assisted psychotherapy and it's called Wellness with Horses and it's sponsored by Zumas. We just wanted to kind of see how would kids respond to the horses and so we've done a couple different things where we've had them go into a herd where they walked in and they got to pick a horse and come out and be able to walk him or her around and groom the horse, interact with the horse. We've had them riding and it really, we've tried to base it on the child's individual clinical needs more than just having a specific set program, which I don't think works as well. There are programs that are studying the adults that are already in prison, but no one's studying how that path happens. And we want to study with the University of Denver, how do they develop with no empathy and end up being criminals? They can't feel for anyone else because they've been so let down in their life that when they fall in love with this horse and this horse falls in love with them, then they can learn that they can do that again with human beings. And I think that that's just something that we can't teach them. What I love about Zumas is we're giving horses a second chance as well as people. So when you come out here, regardless of what condition the horse is in, we're gonna take care of them and give them all the love and compassion we have. Some of the horses that come in, they're so malnourished that their bodies fatigue and they can't hold themselves up. And if they go down when they're that fatigued, they can't get back up and they'll die. The horses, let me do so many things and go to a lot of places and then we just decided that we wanted to give back to them and do something for the horses that they had done for us all these years. It doesn't matter what man has done to them, they will forgive us. And they don't have to. They weigh 1,500 pounds. They don't have to let us back in, but they do. We're trying to bring different people in, people that wouldn't see or be interested in the foster side or the horse side in general. So we're trying to put together fun events and just get the word out in a different way. Fundraising doesn't always mean you have to give a big check. It means that you can come out and contribute in other ways. And that's the message we're trying to send with our committee. The average horse is about $350 a month. We have 20 here. The average child's therapy is about $420 a month. So those are some pretty staggering fees when you're looking at a system of I think there's 6,000 foster children in Colorado. I want to be able to have a place where they feel connected to, that they can come back. And this is their home. To be able to help just one horse, one child, uh, I think that's, that's a gift of life. Zumas needs community support to keep going. Support with in-kind donations, cash donations, endowments, volunteers, volunteer psychotherapists. It's a big operation and it takes a village, really. And right now we're doing it on our own. <laughs>